Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about how to use news to predict the trend of stock movement. We will include introduction, related work, motivation, data set, models and methods, and conclusion. For the introduction part, because the textual data nowadays plays a very significant role in prediction in the stock market, and since sometimes daily news is highly associated with stock price, and also the stock market has been existed for over 100 years, and a large amount of prediction techniques has been developed. Here are three most popular classes. First is fundamental analysis, and predictions are based on financial statements from companies. And then the technical analysis. Predictions are based on previous volume and price in stock markets. And lastly, the sentiment analysis. Best predictions are based on the published articles, such as financial news and companies' reports. And we choose this one because it is a relatively new technique that relies on the database online. And also, news is a reliable resource in predicting the trend of stock prices, according to Lee. So, in our experiment, we will focus on sentiment analysis and mention the technical analysis. We based our experiment on some academic works. And according to Lee, news is proven to be a reliable resource in predicting the trend of stock prices. And additionally, according to Mike Love, the skip grant model used used in its work can spot the representative word that can successfully predict the surrounding word. So why we do this experiment? Generally speaking. Stock market is unpredictable due to its complexity, but the right prediction will lead to a considerable profit. And most of the factors influencing the stock market can be revealed in textual data, for example, social media and news, and they can be processed by sentiment analysis. Additionally, all of us are interested in stock market because it's highly correlated with daily work. For example, as quantitative researchers in the financial industry, and it will benefit our career development. Hello, let me introduce the data part of our project. We use financial news and data to predict the stock price. Unlike other sentiment analyst groups, we don't use the words in the news. Instead, we count the number of news for a specific stock in a specific day. The number of news is our first feature. Usually, the number of news for a given company is constant. When big events happen, the number of news would increase with stock value change greatly. So, in this time, we will have the chance to get profit in that. Also, companies with larger market cap may have more news per day than those with small market cap companies. So, in order to avoid the bias, we u- we use the number of news divided market cap as our royal uh, feature. We get our data from two sources. Stock data is from Nasdaq's website, and the news data is from one financial website. The last part of data is the stock data. So we choose thirty-seven companies with market cap between thirty to one hundred billion dollars in technical industry, thirty percent training group, and seventy percent testing group. The reason why we choose the technical industry, which is that we want to all of companies is coming from the same industry, so to avoid overfitting. And、uh, the reason why we choose thirty to one hundred billions is that、um, we we hope our companies will have a constant number of news in a, usually a day. Others we use three change date. Change date one is means today. Change change rate day two is means the change rate today and tomorrow. And for day three is today. Tomorrow and the day after tomorrow. The reason why we choose that is that we cannot get the profit at the same day when the big event happens. So only one the change rate day two will be um a gr- a great. We will have the chance to get the benefit, and it's same as the change rate day three. As we finish the data preparation section, we are going to select the models. 
In this project, we chose KN as our first model. Since it is a lazy learner with no training period, it is much faster than other algorithms that require training. Thus, we choose it as the first model to give us a quick view. Also, since our dataset is not very large and it has a low dimensionality, KNN algorithm is able to handle it. The second model is a random forest. This algorithm is much more complex and takes a long training time, but, it's, but it is very stable and it's le less likely to be affected by the noise and outliers. Also, it is based on the bagging algorithm and use ensemble learning technique, which reduces the overfitting problem in decision tree and also reduces the variance and therefore improves the accuracy. This graph shows how KNN works. The KNN algorithm assumes similar things are near to each other, so the unknown dataset will be recognized as the majority of the surrounding known labels. The random forest algorithm is based on the bagging method, uh, and it gives more randomness than the original one. It is commonly used for classification and regression is. Before training the model, we decide to do a hyperparameter turning to optimize the performance. A grid search is used to find the optimal hyperparameters which can yield the most accurate prediction. This table shows the parameters selected by the grid search, and based on these hyperparameters, the optimal training accuracy for both models are given. Then, we use the model with the optimal hyperparameter to make prediction on test dataset. The KNN model gives a prediction accuracy of 46.44%, which is not desirable, as it is worse than the random guess. The random forest model turns out to perform much better, giving a test accuracy of 53.82%. In conclusion, in this project, we creatively selected the feature of the number of news rather than the detailed words of the news, which is more quantifiable, and it turns out to be a good indicator of the change in stock price. However, the number of features we used is quite small, and in the future, we might find more useful features to include in the model and thus improve the model's performance. The test accuracy of 53% seems to be a weak performance in general, but the trend of the stock price is extremely complex and hard to forecast, so our performance is fair enough and at least it is better than the random guessing. Thanks for watching.